We've probably seen the last of the snow for this year, but for some sled enthusiasts in Lewis County, snowball season is all year round. 7 News reporter Chad Charette stopped by the Lewis County Fairgrounds for a vintage snowmobile show. It may have been too warm for most of them to run, but that didn't stop folks from coming in droves to Lowville's Fairgrounds for Lewis County's vintage snowmobile show. First time back in five to seven years since there's been a show here, and uh, we have a good, it's a good outcome. The collaborative effort between Lewis County's nine snowmobile clubs allowed attendees to get up close and personal with over 120 vintage sleds. And the money raised? It'll be uh, sent to all the clubs, divvied up amongst the clubs um, that are participating. A lot of the money raised will help snowmobile clubs maintain trails using trail groomers like this. And groom trails are safe trails. And there's 515 miles in the county of uh, state funded trails and um, it all goes back into that maintenance. Greg Martin, a longtime enthusiast, kept his collection of modern vintage snowmobiles under the fairgrounds pavilion and he was more than happy to show them off. And everybody that, that collects these vintage sleds, um, they're like family. And he tells us the centerpiece of his collection, this Blade Outlaw, is one of a kind. This one is serial number 001, the only one that was ever built that is complete. Like most presenters, Brian Delamatera had one main goal, making folks happy. What I really enjoy is some of the people get so excited over some of the things that we bring. His favorite item, this 1965 Arctic Cat Model 480D. It's the only one we know of in the Northeast, supposedly, is from what everybody tells me. So, now that being said, People seem to love that silly snow bug the most because it's just so darn ugly. Whether it was a work of art or a tub with treads, there was a little something for everyone to see at this spring sled show. Chad Charette, 7 News.